What is up, humans? This is a weird video today. We're going to talk about <laughs> Jordan 1s, and that is way out of my comfort zone. I skated them in the 80s. I don't think I've, I've, I don't think I've touched any Jordan 1s since, even the SB ones. I, I mean, I've held them, obviously, but yeah. I haven't skated in them. I skated my Fearless ones, and that was it. I All skated right. those, and then they blew out immediately like within a day then things were cooked and I, everybody was like you skated your fearless ones i was like yeah man but i was like i should have done something to them though because that the toe box fell off but that's right that's right cool. so we're this is josh i've known josh for almost I'm, 15 years at yeah least. 15 years yeah that's pretty close Damn. 15 years a long time <laughs> yeah so i've known josh for 15 years he knows about jordan's he works for the shop he takes a lot of the photos you guys see on the Blue Tile SC Instagram. So I brought him on board just so we could look at these true blue. True blue ones. True blue ones. I'm always trying to get some Jordan ones and I'm always striking out. But as you guys know, these are kind of sitting and maybe Josh knows why. I don't know why. They look sick to me. And if Blue Tile is gonna get some Jordan 1's, the true blue, makes a whole lot of sense. So, let's dive into these things it's a take box. a little look at them. I the do love the box. The box is blue. That's yeah, the box is blue. That's, that's tight. A little they different. Do, they didn't do the black Typically and red box. black and red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. So, these were 180. They are true to size, as far as I can tell. I would say that's what you would size. say, too. Yeah. But let's pop these things out. Throw that box over there. They didn't do cool paper. But no cool paper. I did go ahead and lace this one up a little bit. Slide that out the way. So there you go. There is a look at your side view. And of course, I always look, I look at these things from an aspect of skateboarding. Same. <laughs> and uh, so I'm always like, ooh, look at the toe box. Is that gonna flick good? Is that gonna flick good? It looks longer than a dunk low or a dunk high toe box. It does box. look like it would flip okay though. Yeah. So I, I, I asked Kari and he said he likes skating and Jordan's better than dunks. He thinks he that they like would skate. He doesn't like dunks. Yeah, I don't know. It's what like, he's, he's, he's a blazer guy. <laughs> we're going to compare this Jordan 1 to a dunk low. To a few. We're going to look at a few dunks. <laughs> yeah, we're going to look at a bunch of dunks today. We're look but a bunch of dunks. I think it's kind of crazy because um, Jordan 1's is high all day. Absolutely. Jordan low, low, nobody wants. If, if it ain't certain colorways, <laughs> don't touch the Jordan 1 low. But dunks. It's all, all about, about the low. low. It's all about the low. That's Dude. just weird. It's very backwards. Yeah, yeah. So. I feel like, um, you know, actually, I don't know. I think maybe people don't like the Jordan or the Dunk High because it has the flaps on a lot of them. I dig the flaps. You See, can change I, it up. I kind of hate the flaps. Me personally, I think the flaps were cool growing up. Like the strap on the mid. It's yeah. kind of like the same, like, uh, you know, yeah. for a lot of people. I like mids on the, it's so funny, the the mid Jordan is like a no That's go, a no -go but the mid dunk is like bring it back. Yeah, kind of the mid the mid Jordan. I can, as a Jordan guy, I can tell you guys. I know a lot of you Jordan and sneakerhead guys probably know, but the Jordan one gets a lot of hate in the mid because of this, the toe or on oh, the, the on the, the tongue. The tongue. Tag. Yeah, the it's tongue the tag. Jump man on the it, jump right? man on the tongue tag is is a very distasteful part for a lot of people. People really like the Nike Air Tag. All of the Jordan One lows that get the Nike Air Tag typically do pretty well. Oh, really? On, on the resale market, yeah. That's why the um, the Costin One Jordan One low and all, all the other Jordan One lows that SB has done all had an SB tag that looked like this one, and that's why they've okay. always gotten a lot of lows. Yeah, so there's there's a good look at your people like the your Nike that tag. The Jordan tag, One yeah. low also comes with the Jordan tag on a lot of them that don't come with that one. That's why people oh, yeah. kind of flack on. They don't like the jump man. They don't like the jump. Man. Jump man's corny. That's crazy. <laughs> it's all. It's not Jordan. Everybody likes. It's Nike and Jordan's affiliation with Nike. Okay, Ooh, if you cool. say so. I don't know, man. Well, so I have heard people talk about these materials a lot. I did want to kind of dive into the materials because these are 180 bucks. There's got to be a reason why they're so expensive, because a dunk has a lot more features to it. Way and more. They're 110. Way more. So to me, Way like I have held some Panda Dunks and like looking at these materials, to me it feels better than a Panda, but maybe not super premium. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say super premium. I think a lot of the OG colorway 
and the the you know the really nice colorways from Nike all come with better leather. The better the bigger the story better, is yeah, come the, with better leather. Just better leather all the way around. So do any of the Jordan One highs have the loose wings on the top? Yeah. I think the KO does the Jordan One KO, which was like the second iteration of the Jordan One. So um, there are different builds. Uh, there are said different that this builds. This one was more like the eighty-five build, but it's not the eighty-five. Yeah, so build. the eighty-five build has a slightly different. I have a, I have a pair of the neutral gray white eighty-fives at home, and they have a slightly different toe box. Um, Weird. I'm. I, Pretty sure this material right here kind of like actually comes over a little bit more. Like okay. just to like maybe right here. Like I feel oh, like weird. it's a little so bit the, more on this so panel. So the vamp of the toe is Yeah, the more vamp narrow. of the, it's a little it's a little more narrow on the weird. 85 cut. So anyway, guys, so according to Josh, materials not up to par for a Jordan 1. They look pretty good. I'm going to try to skate in these maybe. Do you guys want me to skate in these Absolutely. Jordan 1s? I think I think it's really cool to skate a Jordan one because they give a different feel. I feel like they also style a little differently. I don't know. You don't talk about clothes very much on the channel, huh? I don't. I will say, but it does matter. It does matter. Yeah. The skinnier pant looks better with the Jordan one. I know there's a lot of you guys that wear the skinnier pant with the big bulky dunk, and I feel like the dunks look a little bit weird with smaller pants. pants. Yeah, but I do feel like the Jordan one looks weird with overly baggy pants. Uh-oh, I'm going to be in <laughs> trouble. <laughs> yeah, I just personally feel like that. Well, let's pull this thing out right here. Oh, wait. I have a pair of these green apples in my size. Just looking at the construction, to me, looking at your toe down on this guy right here, like looking down at your foot, a Jordan 1 makes your foot look long as hell. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, don't so that's the first thing I notice when I put it on. Compared to a dunk, my foot feels way long in this. So For somebody sure. rocking a 13, 14, 15 shoe feels like a dunk would be a better vibe. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that too. I'm so not just checking out the though. toes on that thing, the Jordan obviously has a much longer toe box. It's also a flatter toe box. I feel like it is a flatter toe box. You can see the, the mm -hmm. height right here. There's more... There's more material yeah. on, on the dunk low. Absolutely. So you can just see the the height here is taller than this guy right here. You can just tell that. Boom. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I always talk about the turn and stitch toe cap on a dunk, a, a dunk SB or an SB dunk. The turn and stitch toe cap is this right here. And um, sometimes I like to show this camera a little bit more because it just focuses in on those close shots pretty good. But you can tell that the material is rolled over. Yet on these, you can just see the edge of the material and this is rounded over and sewn inside the shoe. And uh, we got some skate shoes here. Right, <laughs> look, we got, oh, we got some skate shoes in here. So this is Josh's Huff Dunk Low. It's the OG cut of the Nike SB Huff Dunk Low. Um, the OG cut does not have the turn and stitch toe cap. So this is after I skated those 30 minutes day. of skating. I Let's, skated so, I barely skated that day. That I, I got those minutes. the day they released. Went and skated the same day. I didn't. Normally, I'm, I'm always dialed in with what's going on with shoes and everything at the shop, but this one, I didn't know or realize you it was an OG. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't paying attention to the fact it was an OG cut. I was just excited for the colorway. I was hyped on it. I said, this is a clean-ass dunk. I'm lit. Went and skated, and I was like, yo, this, these aren't turning stage. Yeah, yeah. So he, he, met, he sent me a text, like, that night <laughs> of the release. He's like, yo, I already blew out my huff dunk. So I was like, damn, yeah. they're OGs. So yeah, just to look at that one more time, you can see. Oh yeah. You can see the brown edge of the leather because it's a, an exposed edge on there. And that just blows out really quick. And this is after 30 minutes of skating. Barely any time at all. Yeah, so having put that into perspective, 30 minutes and the OG dunk. <laughs> This, this is what would happen to that Jordan 1 as well Absolutely. really quickly. So this is my crushed dunk. 
after 30 days of skating. So you can see it just held up a lot better. Um, it's still hanging on for dear life on those two threads. Dude, right how there. many kickflips did you do in those? I have no idea. With your three try Thursdays, Dave's. I have no idea. So the three try Thursdays are my first three tries of every flip trick that I usually do in a day, and it doesn't usually go very well. <laughs> so you can just see a lot of kickflip wear, but this is held up, and you can see that rolled over edge where it's just sewn on the inside as well. It's so just, that's the that's difference. That's quality construction. Yeah. There are so many extra details on an SB dunk that you pay for that are on that a Jordan 1. That surprises me that they're not on a Jordan 1 I think, just because of the price. I know there's a big name attached to this shoe. Absolutely. But like a lot of times if I pick up a, a dunk in a shoe store, not a skate shop, I'm like, gross. Like what yeah, is same. This? I think one of the biggest it feels gross, like nothing. I bet. I bet to me. I sat with my homies one time and explained to them. I had the sting water dunks and I had just gotten them. Went went home and I was like sitting with my friends and one of my friends just bought a, a regular dunk and I was like, "Yo, let's look at your regular dunk you just bought yeah. and look at this sting water dunk and they're close to the same price because the sting water was a little expensive." But I will say the biggest thing everyone notices is the fact that there isn't um, the strap on the, the inside. Tongue straps. The tongue strap. The tongue is straps the make the coolest it's the, difference. <laughs> it's the craziest difference. And I think... It's the, if you pop your lace, absolutely. your shoe is still absolutely. wearable. Absolutely. And I think the most beautiful thing about that... You can that, almost wear it as a slip-on. You can almost wear it as a slip-on. And I think that it affects the crease here in the toe box a lot because this whole thing obviously is connected. You know? Right. So well, also just the the sheer length. This seems more prone to oh, creasing absolutely. versus that is not as prone to creasing. We would I would love to see what you guys say in the comments which ones crease faster or easier. I do think most people 100%. will go with the Jordan one being yeah. the more creasable shoe. But I would love to take the insoles out and look at the yeah, insoles let's do it. on these. Alright. See if I can get this thing out of here. Well, so this has air built into the sole, mm. which these don't. They have a Zoom Air heel pod. Absolutely. But this insole. I didn't insole, know that was built into the sole in those. Yeah, I didn't know you that. can still pop the airbag in these things. Oh, okay. If you poke okay. through there, you'll hear it. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Word. I, I didn't know that. Rose Anvil taught it to me. Oh. I watched him cut up some air, some Jordan ones. I was like, oh damn, they really do have air in that's, there. So that's, that's crazy. Right. But I didn't know it that. feels like you're standing on oh, a brick. It feels like you're standing on. I do. I skated my. For all you Jordan guys out there, I skated my um, Shadow 2.0s for like. A day without with Irving and had the worst day skating and Dude, I was like I was like insole. I don't it, it I think the insole had a lot to do with it the board feel feels insane in the in just look at this thing like the sheer just rigidity is like not there at all like you can probably feel it's just a less up against your board man yeah, like it's a less dense foam so it's not a terrible it's not the worst insole I've ever seen but compared to this, which is and it's this is a hundred and eight. This is in a hundred and eighty dollars shoe. Yeah, yeah, crazy. That's, it's floppy. It's so crazy to me. But yeah, yeah. they that this, shows the difference thing, between skateboarding. Putting the air right here, I don't know why that makes such a so difference, difference, but it really does. So when I skate these, it's gonna have my crushed insoles mm -hmm. in this shoe for sure. Oh, you're switching them. You know. Yeah. So I did not say this, but I'm gonna throw this in there because you just reminded me. When I skated my Fearless Ones, you know what I did? I, the um, the Orange Label wear test we just had like recently around that time. So I had taken the soles out of the Orange Labels and I put them in my Jordan 1. And that was probably why the Fearless skated really good. Okay. But the the I didn't change the insoles in the Shadow 2.0. So that's probably why I didn't like them. I actually think that that has a lot to do with it. So yeah. you can come back and tell everybody when you switch yours out and you go skate them. Do you think it made a difference? Oh, it'll 100%. I already know it will. I used to put SB insoles in all, like, if I didn't... Any shoe? Yeah, any shoe. Dating back to the the, the puke dunks or whatever, the mm -hmm. barfs. The barfs. The barfs. Oh, my God. I kept those insoles forever, you know. It was just like, oh, slide them in there, you know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> well, whatever. It's, or it's the craziest ones were the, the OG URL or EQ was a full air insole. 
I kept those for a while, but it was crazy. Damn. I don't know if anybody. Nike might need to bring that's, that back. A crazy. full air insole. They were almost too crazy, but it was. How was the, the board feeling? That man, that shoe was. It had to be. It had to be the EQ because I never skated in the URLs. It wasn't that great. <laughs> 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 Those shoes were pretty terrible. The tray AD kind of came tray, after that, tray. or the tray, and then the tray, the tray AD. AD. <laughs> those were pretty sick. I did skate in those for a while. Everybody made fun of me, but they were That's sick. Funny. I had those Easter ones. I had a couple colors. I know you remember that. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I've seen. I've seen them. Yeah. yeah. Before. So yeah. another thing that I kind of like about the Jordan One is oh. the width of the sole. But you don't have this yep. phylon midsole, the phylon which midsole actually makes... adds a lot of oh, difference. Yeah. But the width, just I kind of like it for just like when you put it on, it's just more roomy it's and more it feels more comfortable. But for being athletic or skateboarding, it's not the best. You feel loose in your shoe. Yeah, I think, I don't know, um, you know how much it is in basketball i hooped in my jordan ones once and i will say i definitely felt like there was next to no rigidity in my foot at all like feel like you're going yeah running yeah running to slide i feel like i can feel my foot shift within the shoe yeah absolutely no matter if it's true to size too small too big i definitely can feel everything i think even jordan himself said he hooped in some jordan ones a few like i think maybe 10 years after they came out in 95 and he said his feet were bleeding by the end of the basketball they're game. just sliding around yeah his feet, yeah, yeah he had blisters and he said he his feet were in a pool of blood when he was done playing a basketball game damn so so that said josh would rather hoop, hoop in my dunks in his sbs i hoop in so, my sbs they yeah feel so so much better this is not only a better skate shoe it's a better basketball it's a better shoe. basketball shoe which is kind of wild i never expected to hear that but anyway just yeah just like the extra bells and whistles these things got your uh, memory foam heel pods to hold your heel in place yeah i guess the jordan one that, it's crazy to me that this is such a expensive shoe compared to this. I mean, just yeah. like out of the box expensive. Like most right. skateboarders would immediately shy away at anything over 150 at a skate shoe. I remember the Nike SB One Shots were like 150. Um, the Lunar Lawn, like the all that tech that was in that shoe, yeah. it made it really expensive. And it was probably way more tech than this. But I will say I find it impressive that the Jordan One is such an uncomfy shoe for the price. But I love the way they look. I think that people will always love the way that they yeah. look. And people it always is. look past how they feel for how they look. On yeah, yeah. Same, same with dunks a lot of times. <laughs> you buy the wrong size in a dunk and your feet it's are over. <laughs> dead. I think you should change the laces in these, though. I think Yeah, the let's do it. I, I got some a... laces because I watched, I think it's Wear Testers. I watched that video. They tied this, obviously, back to the True Blue Jordan 3s. And they don't look anything like them. There's, no, there's no cement. There's no red on the shoe at yeah. all. I guess um, the cement was pretty exclusive to the threes. Yeah, was it? They yeah. didn't put it on anything it's not, else. I don't, I'm not going to say they didn't put it on anything else. Yeah, but it's been it's on some on dunks. Some, it's been on some dunks for yeah, sure. Yeah. So, it was on Supreme Dunks. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah. So just not having any of that pattern on it. I do love this embossing, though. I'm going to shut up. Um, <laughs> and they also talked about a new Jordan 3 coming out. The Wizards. The Wizards. Which and looks kind of has like this. a gum or burnt orange it vibe does. to it so i'm gonna swap these laces out with a burnt orange and uh that's how i'm gonna wear them we'll i think see that's how tight. it looks burnt orange kind of like this hoodie my homie lace locks told me where to get these so um if you guys don't haven't checked out lace locks on instagram and youtube she makes like Dunk custom content. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, that's she nice. does some custom stuff too. These Dude, days. I went to every shoe store in the mall looking for shoelaces, and nobody cares carries shoelaces. <laughs> so, which kind of made me feel better about not carrying shoelaces, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Whoa. Well, what's it, what you got in here? Oh. Oh, they do. What? These do come with an extra what? pair of white laces. Wait, now the Jordans and do I, be coming with the laces. And I do think. It's cool. These it's in a box. these packaging move to zero packaging. This is cool. Instead of the plastic bags, is that because of I you? bag it. <laughs> is that I of back you? this because I bitch about the plastic bags all the time. And uh, anybody that's known Dave knows Dave <laughs> has complained about the plastic bags about Nike and the plastic bags for years right. to the point where 
But I personally think that they got rid of him because Dave. I mean, a, a shoe comp last resort sent me production pictures mm -hmm. during production absolutely of their new lace packaging and they said no more plastic bags so they at least thought <laughs> somebody <of me. laughs> somebody's thinking of you dave <laughs> so anyway i think it's crazy because you know the double lace thing had to start in skateboarding absolutely all skate shoes used absolutely. to come with double extra laces because you're breaking your laces, laces for sure and now, look, like, this ain't got nothing to do with skating, but shoes are expected to come with extra, extra laces. laces. Yep. Nice. But I think the packaging, the Jordan packaging, is a nice touch because I don't remember them ever coming with... Uh, Dude, I like the packaging. That's probably way more expensive, though. Oh, absolutely. I'm trying to hurry so much, I'm blowing it. Nah, nah. You got to take your time. Everybody knows that doing laces is, like, a super important part of sneaker culture. So I'm going to fuck it up, then. Oh, no, don't do that. Dude, when oh, I was man. in middle school, I remember somebody explained to me that laces were supposed to be laced a certain way. Like, it's whichever one's under stays under the whole way up top, and whichever one's over the top stays over top. Yeah, whatever. But you're right. That's, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it when people lace their shit and uh, I always have to fix they're, it like, rolled. Um, like, they, like, roll them in the middle. I'm like, man, flatten your laces out. Yo, I do this every day for product photos all the time. <laughs> Dave never changes his laces. I'm not a lace swapper. This is a momentous occasion. I'm swapping laces. You know what my momentous occasion was? Was me putting the red laces in my pink pigs. How Dude, high do you lace. go? That's the, the real high. question. How high do you lace your I go one from the top. Usually. I think I go one from the top too. Look at there. This, this thing is clean, man. I might've, I might've talked down on these too quick, everybody. I mean, is it the lace swap that brought you back? I think it's the lace swap that brought me back. I think the uh, lace swap pulled it off, pulled it together. Pulled the whole shoe together. Now, now it is a true blue. All right, stay tuned for another video where I am going to skate in these, and we're going to do the super glue trick. We're going to teach you how to make your Jordans last longer, or just any shoe last longer. Any your shoe. pawn shop dunk highs last longer. Absolutely. Great. Your huffs. Shoes. Yeah, Last your, your orange lobsters if you're skating them. Yeah, your orange lobsters Ooh. are going to blow out if you don't super glue them. So, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for that. Uh, it's a pretty easy trick, but we're going to go skating, and I'm going to try some kickflips, and that's not too easy. Nope. So That's it, guys. All the best. Mm, love blue tile. I think people will love this video.